There's some people out on boats over there. I guess they must be fishing. There's a lot of them. I think that's people. Yeah. The clouds are parting. And you can see the, the break of the sun coming through. I don't know. Just being by the water and being me a nice piece and also early in the morning as well oh it makes you want to be i'm just grateful i'm just grateful for everything it's the way the clouds part so the blue sky i'm just look at that the cloudy blue sky and it just parts in the middle I did get I did get here super early. It seems like people are walking or praying because they have their prayer beats and then a few are starting to come and starting to run and exercise. So just even come out for a morning walk. I'm gonna do this every single morning. Funny enough, I don't get up early in the morning. This is the earliest I've gotten up, other than on a travel day. But I'm gonna be doing this because I just I'm over here singing Kuyu songs. <laughs> oh goodness. I'm gonna do this every single morning. I might even start running tomorrow. Okay, it's kinda loud because it's been construction outside. But I'm going to go get my hair done. Um they said to do the braids and the to do the braids, all of it together should be six thousand dollars their money. And essentially that's ten dollars our money. Oh, which is such a big deal. Oh my god. Can't wait and I don't have to deal with this here for a little bit. So, okay guys, while Mama, Martha, Marita, while Marita is getting her hair done, me and the baby are gonna go and take a little stroll on the beach for a little bit and um, have a nice little view for a second. She's ready to go. <laughs> There's the beach right there. It's not too far from our room at all. So, yeah, I'm gonna see you guys on the beach. So yeah, we've been chilling at the beach for quite some time. The beach is very beautiful out here. It's not, it's not a lot of people in the beach. I'm pretty sure about the visit the water school, but it is a lot of people on the beach. There's a lot of people walking on the beach, I should say. Not bad at all. Glad we uh, picked this spot to come to and spend a little time at while we was out here. So now we're gonna go ahead and walk on back and see uh, see how far along they are with uh, Marita's hair. And uh, me and baby gonna probably head back to the room. Hopefully the lady is uh, done cleaning in there because um, the floor is just kind of sandy. We had to uh, get somebody to come and uh, mop the floors in there. So, uh, yeah, we're probably going to do a little tour of the place too today because you guys, I don't, think we, I don't think we showed the place yet, how the new place we're staying at now. Uh, yeah, you guys stay tuned. Salam alaikum. Malikum salam. Nangadi. Nangadi. Magnifi. 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 Okay. <laughs> but that's pretty much we are I'm learning Wolof because I've been tr speaking French but the local language is Wolof mm -hmm. and to be here it's only proper to know 
the the language here, you know? Mm -hmm. And what's your name? Sarata. 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 Yeah. And Sarata has been so helpful Hi. in showing me, pretty much teaching me how to speak Wawa. I am so, it's just amazing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's, it's amazing because it's crazy because Senegal is all the way in the west mm -hmm. and Kenya is all the way in the east. But at the end of the day, we are all the same people. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 I got my hair done and my nails done at like the loveliest place at Ama. Ama. I think that's it's Maya, but say it's, you can say it Maya or say it backwards, which I think was aim or Ama. Oh, it's Ama. I aim. What? I have to ask my hand. But anyway, it was, they were just the loveliest salon. They took care of us and helped actually help me learn some different wall off words and part of the language. I just felt so included and invited. Like, I'm just having so much fun out here in Senegal. But anyway, I did want to tell you how much it was for all of this. Granted, for the hair, she didn't wash it or shampoo. She just started braiding my hair the way it was. But for all of that and the nails, hands and the feet, it was 8,000 mil safa. And if you translate it, that is essentially $13.18 USD. Pew. Crazy, cause I'm like, what? I even ended up giving her a tip, cause I'm like, she did a good job, and she deserved it. But I recommend if you're over here on this side of Dhaka, go to Ama Maya Salon. She found something to entertain herself with. Mommy, what you doing, girl? Say, I'm doing whatever I want to do. Oh, I forgot the name he said for this one. And he said it's so, it was such an easy word like Safa or Saba. Safa. Safa? Safa, Safa. We'll have to look it up. But pretty much rice and a fish sauce. It's fish inside of there. Like the presentation has been like pretty cool each time. It has been. It really has been. Like. Mm -hmm. And I actually see the fish too. Really? Yeah. And it's so much rice that they gave you. They say you ain't gonna starve tonight. <laughs> Are we hungry? So we ready to eat? I, I think we're getting a little spoiled with the delivery coming to the house. I think so too. <laughs> I mean, but we ain't never really experienced this yet before doing all our travels. Yeah. This is actually our first time having an opportunity to really kind of like eat real traditional food. Oh my gosh. You know I feel like Compared, we. I mean, we ate like, you know, some traditional foods in some other countries, but I feel like here so far, the presentation with the food has been better. It's been better else, elsewhere we've been at. You know I mean? But I feel like it's been so good because of our Airbnb host. That is true. He's been amazing. So he's been very helpful since we walked through the doors. Mm -hmm. so he's he's good. making our experience yeah. very much. Yeah. So, yeah. We gonna dig in? You gonna eat something? Hopefully it's too spicy. Okay. Tell me what you think. It's really good. Uh, I think the fish is a uh, sardine. A what? Uh, sardine. Sardine? Mm -hmm. I thought those were little. They have big fish. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are you hungry? <laughs> Say, give me some. Yeah. They have uh, big ones too in the ocean. But yeah, that's what it tastes like to me. I'm not 100% sure, but it reminds me of the sardine. Ah. Open your mouth. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, Where that little spoon at? But other than that, say yummy, yummy. Mm hmm. It's very savory. Yeah. It has a lot of flavor to it. 
I know like the fact how they use a lot of herbs and spices and stuff to, you know, make their dishes so good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, uh, all around, it's a good dish. I mean, it beats uh, pizza and chips for sure. <laughs> <laughs> And I've been craving some regular white rice. I've been missing some regular white rice. So it's kind of cool as we as we travel through the world and we get to experience foods like this that we probably would never experience back at home. Yeah. You know. And I like it's like coming like somebody bringing it to us. Well, not necessarily just that, but like somebody is cooking this in their own kitchen, and it's not just like at some restaurant. Well, not that anything is wrong with the restaurant, but. I think it's made with a little bit more love. Oh yeah, Dre's very big about food being made with love. He can tell. Only because he loves to cook. And he always said he likes to put love in it so he can tell when other foods are cooked. Because to me, food, it's art. It's it's a craft. You know what I mean? It takes a lot to, you know, actually have delicious sex and food sometimes. Even whenever we was in... um, Custom uh, Marrakech, and we seen all those spices and stuff. I mean, when I seen all those spices, I told the lady, I say, anybody who uses these spices to me are a chef. You know what I mean? Because it takes a lot of skills to put this, put put all them different types of spices together.